Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for Everyday Vlogmas, day 11. slow down and go in with the luminous light together because I have dim light, radiant light, I have soft light I think in one of the palettes and I also have the like the lightest one, what is it? Yeah, diffuse light. So I'm actually going to swatch all of these for you side by side at the end here so you can take a look at them because it's really hard to tell what's what I think online. So we're going to go in the front here there is something luminous about this one for sure. So let's, do you want to go in with a dim light? I think I actually had a question about dim light, so we're going to go side by side. So here's luminous light and here's dim light right there. There's less in terms of individual detectable shimmer in the dim light because I do see there's a lot more. It's more like the, um, oh, the meteorites, this kind of reflective quality. So let's go in with the dim light. Make sure I cleaned this off well. Okay, so right there you can see immediately, well, I think you can see it with the actual powder itself when you look at it, that there is definitely a more muted finish to dim light. That illustrates too that the powders do not actually all have the same kind of finish. So I prefer dim light. I think this is pretty if you like that. So that's reminding me of the Chantecai powder that I recently tried. Not the hummingbird, the other one. I can't remember the name, I'll list it below. So I prefer this. Let's put this dim light on just in the center. Yeah, I'd like dim light to just blur a little bit more. Now we're doing something kind of out of order because I'm gonna go in with the cream product next. And I really like this product, um, but I can't remember if I put it over or under a powder, but we're kind of stuck now because I'm at this point, so let's go in and see how it goes. Yeah, this is just so pretty. I think this is probably going to be one I will hit pan on in terms of my Hourglass products. I've hit pan a few times on Radiant Light. So easy to use, really easy to blend. It's funny because I think anything on the left side of my face generally is tending to look better just because there's like a smoother texture and more evenness than on this side. So just something to take into account as well. Let's go in with the blush. Yeah, as much as I like the um, quad, and I'm gonna pull that in a second, I think that I will actually use this one more than the quad, and then see how it just doesn't lift anything in terms of any makeup underneath this cream product. I thought we could build this up though and put some powder products on just to see, I don't know, just to see how it goes. Oh, let's put a lip on first though. Let's go ahead with a lip. This one is at Dawn. Then I thought we could go in with this palette. Let's just see what that looks like on top of a cream product. I haven't tried it yet, but let's see. This is the holiday one, by the way, the quad. So 
as you can see, there's definitely a luminous kind of finish with luminous light. So there's definitely a degree of reflective property in there that I don't see in my other ambient lighting powders that I have. The others are more of just like a subtle blurring effect like this over here with the dim light versus luminous light. So that one stands out to me as a little bit different than the ones that I have. The ambient lighting powders though are one of my favorite beauty products out there. It's actually one of the reasons I started watching YouTube because I purchased the ambient lighting powder in radiant light and I didn't know how to use it. And I kept searching the internet, like, how do I use this? Is it just like a highlighter? Do you put it all over your face? Like, how does this work? And I even recall at that point, I really didn't find much of anything. So then I just started kind of experimenting with them myself. And they are very much a staple in terms of helping to perfect my complexion. So let's turn the camera around. We'll talk about all the ambient lighting powders that I have. I'll swatch them for you. I will also talk you through the other Hourglass products that I have. I have many that are in like archive at this point because they are so old, but I use them for reference in terms of what's new in palettes and what they look similar to, but they're not my active Hourglass storage. Let's start with the new one, Luminous Light. You can see again that reflective quality in there. I'll go ahead and give you a swatch of that. This is Luminous Light. It does have a bit of warmth to it. In this six pan here, we have Diffused Light and this is Dim Light. I've just added Diffused Light and Dim Light. So as you can see, the first one and the third one don't look that different when swatched, but you could definitely see the difference on my face. Luminous Light is the first one. Dim Light is the third one. This ambient lighting powder is not in a single, it's part of the quad though. This is in soft light, this one right here. I would actually love soft light as a single. I would purchase it because I love the tone. I think it's such a pretty one. It does a great job of blurring as well. And then we have radiant light. I think this is one of the prettiest ones. It does look like there's a bit more reflective quality in here, but it's not anything like luminous light. It's a really beautiful one, especially if you have more richness to your skin. It is on the warmer side. You should be able to see the difference there in the tone. It's much more golden than any of the other shades. As for my other Hourglass products, I did pick this up. I don't use it as much. It does have more shimmer in it. Actually, let's look at this next to Luminous Light because there is a bit more shimmer than I like in this one. And this is the Infinity Powder. I've swatched Infinity Powder right here next to Luminous Light in case you wanted to see the difference. I think this might be my only Hourglass bronzer, but I love it. It's Radiant Bronze Light. I really feel like I don't need another one because this one is so beautiful. Again, has that really pretty warm tone to it, which is why I think I love it so much. We've got a few blushes here, Diffused Heat, a pretty vibrant shade. It's got a bit of pink to it, but still some brightness. Then we've got this one, Sublime Flush. This has a little bit of um, like a violet color in there. So it will have a bit of a unicorn thing to it. You can see it also has a corally quality. There's a bit of like an orangey shade in there. Though, although those two might look similar in the pan, you can see there's a difference in intensity with these two. Then we have another blush at night, which came out recently as well. And this one's more of like a cranberry toned blush. So you can see it compared to the other two. And then this is a really beautiful highlighter if you really like highlighter. This one's in Euphoric Strobe Light. This one's a really pretty highlighter. I love the tone on this one. Oh, I forgot to mention this one. I put it on at the end. That's what I put on my eyes at the end. This is in the shade Blaze. I don't wear it that often, but it's a really pretty color if you like this kind of a finish. It doesn't have like chunky glitter or anything like that, but it's definitely more sparkly than most of the things that I wear. enjoyed that little tour of my hourglass products but that's it for today's video so please take care of each other stay well if you enjoyed this video if you learned something please give it a thumbs up subscribe and i will see you tomorrow